welcome. My name is Mirko Löffler. I'm the chef owner of Mirko's A Taste of Europe in Voorhees, New Jersey. Germany makes a great pumpkin soup. Here are our ingredients. Pumpkin meat. About a half a pound to a pound of pumpkin meat. Very important. You're going to have about two cups of heavy cream. You're going to have some fresh carrot. Now the carrot, I, I would say, slice it, julienne, right? So I have sliced fresh carrot. I got about a half an apple, nicely diced and peeled. Uh, juice from a half an orange. I got some celery, like I said, fine diced. Some finely frizzled onion, about a quarter onion. And here's our spices now. Fresh nutmeg. You're going to need a little bit too like this. Grated nutmeg. We have a little bit of fresh ginger. These spices, I call them the holiday spices. Fresh ground cinnamon. We have some coriander, ground white pepper, cloves, ground cloves, allspice, very important, ground allspice, one bay leaf, honey, fresh butter, salt, sugar, and I have some white bread. I removed the rind from it. Then I have some chicken stock, about uh, half a quart of chicken stock. The simplicity on this soup is that you can put almost everything together in one pot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my onion. Like I said, there's about like a quarter onion right in here. I'm going to put my celery in there, my apple, my carrots, the juice of a good orange, Floyd orange. Now, I'm going to put my bread in it. My bread is going to help me thickening my whole soup. So there is no thickening agent needed like flour or cornstarch. The bread will do all the work. That's an old trick we learned from the French. Pumpkin. Put all our pumpkin in here. Now the seasoning. We're going to start off. It's the nutmeg. Like I said, fresh grated nutmeg is 10 times better than the pre-grated one. Ground ginger. Ground cinnamon. I'm just repeating all the ingredients. They're really getting it. That's the holiday ingredients. Coriander. White pepper. ground cloves, my favorite old spice, little bay leaf crumbled up, going to add about two tablespoons of honey into here, salt, and sugar. Depending on your chicken stock which you're going to add now, it's how you adjust your seasoning. So we're going to add our chicken stock now into it. And now the whole soup should be just almost full. We're going to now add our cream to just cover it. Voila. Let's put it on the stove and get it to the zimmer. Well, the soup is boiling. When is it done? All you have to do is check the hottest ingredients, our celery or our carrots. If the celery and the carrots are soft, you're good to go. What's the next step? Well, we're going to puree it. What we need? We need a blender. Bring your soup over. Set it on a secured place. We have a table blender here. It is important when you work with an instrument like this, secure it, don't burn yourself, put a towel over it. Let's do this. Ladle as much, maybe half full of liquid, pumpkin, fruit in your blender. Don't overfill the blender. You can always use it two or three times. 
as you turn your blender on, the air going to be underneath it and going to shoot up and bring all the soup to the, to the top. So we're going to put the lid on, secure good. We're going to take a towel and we're going to put a towel over this. In case, keep pressure on the top. In case something happens, you secure it. Nothing will happen to you. You're going to turn it now on. I'm going to make a little bit of noise here. So, if you're going to take a spoon, I'm going to take one more try here. Look at this flavor. Mmm. Oh, very good. I'm going to give it one pinch of salt. Like I said, you can always add. Now it's the best time. I'm going to give it also a little bit of white pepper. And now, to finish it all up, I'm going to take some butter. Tablespoon of butter, fresh butter, right in there. If you do it in stages to puree the rest of it, finish each item totally just like I did, then combine it all, mix it up, and everything will be fine. Make sure you always wait until the machine has stopped. It's like a car. Don't open the door until you stopped. Here's our soup. Smooth. Beautiful. The color, German pumpkin soup. With that, I remain as Milko Lafler, the chef owner of Milko's A Taste of Europe in Boise, New Jersey. Visit me on my website, www.milkosatasteofeurope.com. I hope to see you soon again. Thank you so much for watching. It was my pleasure. Auf Wiedersehen.